Hello, and welcome back to the vlog. If you're watching this, that means that I've managed to save something out of nothing because as I'm shooting this right now, this looks like it's going to be, this mission is going to be a total fail. My plan was to uh, shoot some time lapse on the approach of, here, um, of what is now Tropical Storm Isaias as it's uh, coming up the east coast towards New York City. As I'm speaking, it's uh, epicenter, I guess, or it's, its eye, I guess, is uh, somewhere off the coast of, uh, somewhere near um, uh, Philadelphia. But it's moving very rapidly up the coast, and I figured I was going to be able to get some, maybe some nice time lapse and maybe use some nice lightning shots before the storm actually hits. Uh, unfortunately, what's happened is that I'm now in the parking lot of the Gateway National Wildlife Refuge in Howard Beach, Queens. Where I, your, where I also come to shoot uh, birds and other wildlife. I figured this would be a good uh, view of, of uh, Jamaica Bay and uh, the, uh, the bridge that crosses the, uh, the Marine Parkway Bridge. And I figured this, you know, this would be a good opportunity to shoot some, wild, uh, some, some, some time lapse and uh, maybe some lightning before the storm actually gets here. But just as I arrived at the parking lot, as you can probably hear, it is just chucking down rain. I'm not even going to be able to get out of the car right now, and I don't know if uh, I'm going to be able to get anywhere to shoot at all. The only good thing is that the storm is moving very rapidly, so it's possible by late this afternoon it will actually be past here, and I'll be able to get some uh, footage of the aftermath. So, again, if you're watching this, that means it worked. If you're not watching this, that means I'm talking to myself for no good reason. It happens. Well, this is a bit of a mess. All the traffic lights are out on Crossway Boulevard, at least uh, some of them. And this being a very heavily trafficked route is going to be a bit of a bear to get through here. There are cops actually manning the intersection. Well, I'm back at the Gateway National Wildlife Refuge in, in uh, Jamaica Bay near Howard Beach. Uh, it's only five hours later from the last time I was here and on the surface it looks like a beautiful uh, clear day but as you will have already seen and can see right now there's still a lot of wind going on there are trees down all over the place um, I hear on the radio that uh, you know maybe um, a million customers in the tri-state area may have actually lost power because of down power lines and they expect it's going to take a few days for, for all that to come back I apologize for the wind because I was not going to put, I don't have my lav mic yet and I was not going to try to put a wind muff on a, uh, on my regular mic here because that would just be blowing all over the place in front of the camera lens. So hopefully when I get a lav mic, I'll be able to adjust that. But it looks beautiful. I'm going to try and get some time lapse footage here. And now with the sun being out, hopefully may, I might even be able to get some bird shots. It looks like it's going to be beautiful for a sunset. I'm not sure if I'm going to stay late enough for that, but that's still a good three hours away. But we'll see what, how, what happens. All right, so I'm set up right now for a time lapse. I've got the camera set up at a bridge out there across uh, Jamaica Bay. It's a couple of miles away from here. Um, it's going to be about probably about 16 seconds of footage altogether, but I've set up a 500 shot to take one shot a second. 
is actually my first time doing a time lapse, so this will be interesting. We'll see the view that I have out there. And meanwhile, I'm going to set up my other camera. This is a, step five, a Canon 5D Mark IV. I've got my 70 Mark II with a 150 to 600 millimeter lens on it. I'm going to try and shoot some uh, birds if I think that, as I'm looking at this right now. There's a snowy egret. And if you sit down, I'm first going to try to. I'll see if I can get a shot of it. Well, during the time lapse just now, I saw what I thought at first was a large seagull flying, flying you know, to my left and it turns out it was an osprey. And the osprey landed on the sandbar out there. Um, so I had my camera mounted. I did not get the, the, uh, the eagle a great eagle shot, unfortunately because he flew away. But I did shoot the osprey. I'm not sure what it was doing on the ground because I frankly have never seen an osprey on the ground. It usually in the air or in a tree. So it was possible the young ospreys caught some scavenging. There may be a fish on the ground there. I, I can't see it here. And I'm hoping that the uh, image that I pop up is not going to be a much more than a long distance snapshot. It was just too far away. Um, my, my show just what it was that, uh, that the bird was after. But anyway, yeah, there's ospreys. There are ospreys around here. There's actually a nest, an active nest not far from here. There's also an unoccupied nest. Uh, right where I'm pointing at the moment. But in any case, we'll see how that after shot turns out. Well, I've got my camera uh, trained on a flock of what I believe are gadwalls, which is a species of uh, dabbling duck. It's pretty much not a whole lot else going on. Just too much wind, so all the birds are pretty much sitting down. And poor, of course, all season, this past breeding season, most of the songbirds, there's hardly any songbirds around. When I was here a couple months ago, the place was just full of yellow warblers. They may have moved on already, they have already raised their food to the schools for the season. Um, I did hear a uh, song sparrow a while back. We opened to this particular location, and I did mention the osprey that I shot, and hopefully, uh, we'll have some footage of that or a couple of stills of that. So, but right now, not a whole lot going on. Mockingbird just blew across in front of me. But other than that, it's, uh, it, it just, again, it looks calm and peaceful, but the wind right now is blowing a constant 30 miles an hour, gusting up to about 50 to 60, from what I've heard. So I'm not, probably not going to be much longer for here, until because wind is pretty much the enemy of photography. So I followed the trail across, uh, actually around that pond over there. And uh, you know, the reason I did that is because it's a spectacular view of the Manhattan skyline from here. Um, back in my first video, I said that, you know, even as a new native New Yorker, I don't really like shooting in and around the city that much, but when light like this and a scene like this, I have to make an exception. Because the view of uh, Freedom Tower and Lower Manhattan from where I'm standing right now is absolutely spectacular. I am going to uh, take a few shots, both vertical and horizontal. The side lighting of the clouds is uh, just amazing right now. Actually, they're mostly backlit because we're actually it's 623, which means it's about an hour and a half before sunset. I may stick around actually till sunset to see how that works out, but uh, in any case, um, I've got the, my 150 to 600, this looks like the first time I've actually used this, this, this lens, which is my birding lens. First time I've used it for landscape. And this is another lesson that sometimes, you know, the wide view isn't always the best. Uh, some, um, sometimes it's good to take a long lens and really zoom in for details, both like, if, like say, even if you're in a mountain situation. Uh, these are actually are not the mountains, it's actually, I guess you could say, the canyons of New York. 
what I'm going to wind up back to shooting from a long distance. Our settings for the show shot right here are ISO 100, 1 800 of a second at f8 on this lens. That should render me a, render me a pretty sharp image. Actually, one mistake I actually made, I, when I was still across on the other side of the pond, I took some shots from over there, which actually would have been pretty good, except I left my vibration compensation on, which, le which is uh, certainly going to result in blurred shots. So I'm not going to show you those, but I will show you these because this is going to be pretty good. So I'm gonna, I've got my two-second timer on. This is going to be the first of several shots I want to take from this location, and uh, you'll see them right after this. Switched bodies. Previously, I had my crop sensor camera, my 7D Mark II on. Now, because I want to get a little bit less crop for what is essentially a landscape shot, I want to get. Um, I switched it to my 5D Mark IV, my full frame body. And at the moment, I am shooting a time lapse. But once, uh, once I finish with that, I'll go back to shooting some more stills. It's now quarter to seven, so which puts me about an hour before sunset. However, I do have to check and see what time the park actually closes because I do not want to get locked in here overnight. So, uh, we'll be back. Um, and hopefully at the end of this, you will see my final shots for the day. I will uh, try and stay as late as I can without getting locked into the parking lot. And I'll see you next time. If you like this content, please uh, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so, so you will be sure to see me with my next video. Thanks a lot. Bye. Okay, so I've set up for my time lapse. I've got the camera set uh, pointed at the. Um, what the hell is the name of that bridge? Well, I've set up at uh, F8, ISO 100, and uh, let's see.